So uh, here in the United States, um, the Biden administration, uh, his national security advisor, uh, Secretary of State, uh, go, I, you know, uh, we didn't really know. And, uh, you know, I couldn't just couldn't really put a finger on it. We're so surprised. And now the New York Times is just turning on Biden temporarily. Uh, they have an article today. Uh, and it uh, basically says, no, Biden was told that this could be a debacle. I'm going to quote it. Classified assessments by American spy agencies over the summer painted an increasingly grim picture of the prospect of a Taliban takeover of Afghanistan and warned of the rapid collapse of the Afghan military, even as President o Biden and his advisors said publicly that was unlikely to happen. According to current and former American government officials, anonymous sources, that's what the New York Times does, by July, many intelligence reports grew more pessimistic, questioning whether any Afghan security forces would muster serious resistance and whether the government could hold on to Kabul, the capital. President Biden said on July 8th, the Afghan government was unlikely to fall, that there would be no chaotic evacuations of Americans similar to the end of the Vietnam War. So that's the New York Times. Now, the importance of that, if it's true, and again, it's an anonymous source, is that if Biden were told, if Biden was told himself, and this has got to be in classified information, if he's told that this government's going to collapse and then he lied to the American people, that's impeachable. And it's a simple, it's a simple play. Now, there are going to be congressional hearings under oath. That's the only question, by the way. That's it. We know Biden's incompetent. We know he's weak. But if he lied to us in July, when his NAT security people were saying, going to go, impeachable. Now, will he be impeached? No. Not now, because the House is controlled by the Democrats. But in the midterms, if the Republicans take over the House and Senate, which I believe they will, then it could be. See? This is ultra serious. What I just told you is the crux of the matter. Did Biden lie to the nation? Was he told that it's likely that Kabul will fall, the Taliban will take over? It's a simple play. Okay. Um, there is now confusion among the left-wing media. So the New York Times is left as it gets. They were cheerleading for Biden over and over and over and over and over. But they now know that he's a bad president. And now they're trying to cover their butts. C-Y-A. Okay? And that's why they wrote this article. The others are trying to follow suit. Now, I'm going to refresh your memory on Biden and what he said in July. Go. The Taliban is not the, South, the North Vietnamese army. They're not, they're not remotely comparable in terms of capability. There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof of a embassy in the, of the United States from Afghanistan. It is not at all comparable. Okay, so we now know that was a um, miss statement. Okay? Now, maybe he was just wrong. But again, if he were told, then he's in trouble. Major trouble. So, what does CNN do? CNN has lost all credibility. Their ratings are as low as they ever have been. Nobody trusts the network. So, now they're trying to regain a little credibility. Roll the tape. I mean, to hear Jake Sullivan call this the successful drawdown of the U.S. Embassy there, his words, I, I, I mean, is almost comical, right? I mean, I, I don't see how anybody could call that a successful drawdown, given the circumstances we're seeing there. Okay, so CNN basically has decided, and remember, these, these people don't say stuff on their own. They're told what to say. Um, so they've decided, well, we can't support Biden here in this one. We ignored the border another humanitarian catastrophe. We ignored that, can't ignore this. But MSNBC has not really gone out of its way to criticize Biden. It's NBC News is 
further left than CNN, if you can believe it. I mean, it's just stunning. It's just stunning that NBC News, the home once of Huntley and Brinkley, and now a totally ideological operation. They're kind of just on the surface. They're not really going in hard. Interesting. Hey, I'm sure you've noticed that everything is getting more expensive. And with all this printing money and spending by the progressives, I'm concerned the dollar's end could be near. If the government continues this way, the dollar could freefall and lose its coveted role as the world's reserve currency. That's why there's never been a more important time to consider gold and silver to protect you and your family. And American Hartford Gold is the only company I'm happy to put my name behind. I have done business with them myself. It just takes a quick phone call and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. Plus, tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. So please don't wait. Call 866-501-5201, 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video, and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.